All right, earnings rush, not done yet. Papa John's out with their latest quarterly results. Pizza Boom still continues for them, Saz. It, it very much continues for Papa John's, in large part because of their new epic stuffed crust pizza that is crust stuffed with cheese, hence the epic stuffed crust, and also a papadilla, which is essentially a pretty big, large sandwich for them. But yeah, anyway, It's like a stromboli of sorts. Stromboli, modern-day stromboli. Very good, Miles, very good. Uh, but anyway, a good quarter from... Uh, uh, Papa John's here beat on sales pretty significantly adjusted earnings beat estimates by 20 cents and yes that is me inside of a Papa John's pizza that is just the fine work of our producer team here that's a personal size right? that's six the, slices uh, yeah uh, yeah anyway the system-wide North American same store sales for Papa John's up 5.2 percent estimates for were for a 1.1 percent increase very important to see that increase this is a company starting to cycle uh, a, a very strong year ago comparisons at this time last year North America same store sales for Papa John's up 26.2 percent so very important to see that number here. Uh, international sales, also a positive point for Papa John's, up 21.2% in the most recent quarter. And I had a chance to talk to Papa John's CEO, Rob Lynch, about the quarter. He struck an upbeat tone. He told me he was surprised that the company was able to comp positive in, in the U.S. business in the mm -hmm. most recent quarter, given where comparisons were. So he's uh, sounding upbeat. Uh, now they will move forward with more aggressive openings international. And I think they're about to start to pick up the pace with their U.S. openings as well. Next on the DACA for them, too, is also a hiring day. Uh, they're looking to hire 20,000 people. They hired somehow 30,000 30, people last year. Uh, so they are now out there trying to get their fair share of workers to service the demand they are seeing. And also, they're getting ready to move into a new headquarters in Atlanta, right next to the Braves Stadium. So for them, going back so, to the office is a real thing. Yeah, and, and, and I'm glad we have this graphic up because we, we talked... We talked about this with Domino's. You know, they, they were first out of the gate with the pizza, you know, the major national pizza chains. And I think the entire space has been looking for this moment of, okay, mm -hmm. pe people are finally done eating pizza. Mm -hmm. And I, I think, you know, to, to, to John Lynch's comments there a little bit uh, that that moment is that moment is not now which is it's funny to see that come as a surprise to or Rob Lynch sorry uh, come as a surprise to Papa John's yeah they and, sell pizza yeah and is it, it's, it's interesting to see these customers or a good portion of the customers stick with a Papa John's a Domino's and of course Pizza Hut which is owned by Yum Brands and yep. people not necessarily go out there and, and buy more cereal at the same extent that they were last year. Look at, you saw a uh, sales decline yep. in those Kellogg results this morning. Uh, and, and look, Kraft Heinz earnings out yesterday under pressure as well. People stopped uh, eating as much as home, at home as they were. But for the pizza players, they're winning. Well, look, I mean, you know, cheese is, you know, Kraft Singles, part of the grocery order. Like, it's just not, it's just not as exciting. Mm -hmm. Look at that pizza. This is good. Like, this is good. This yeah. food tastes good, right? Tastes so you're good. like, okay, this is a treat. But, but, does, but, does but it do, taste I want, do I want to go back to saving money on Kraft Singles? Yes. But does it taste good the next day? You think about it. No, of course not. But, but you're mostly buying it like you're either a younger person who doesn't notice that. Mm -hmm. You're buying it for your kids, and they're certainly not going to notice it. Mm -hmm. um, or some people just they have iron stomachs. Not me. You got to try the papadilla. You got to try the papadilla. It's papadilla. worth it. It's worth it. Now, you're probably not going good. to eat for the rest of the day. But the it is worth week. a try. The rest of the week. It's worth a try. I don't know if I can. I don't know if we can do it. All right, Kimberly Clark selling some stuff for you afterwards.